tuombe e Mungu uliamuru kujikatalia katika miili yetu kwa ajili ya kuponyesha roho zetu tujalie tuweze kuepukana na dhambi zote na mioyo yetu iweze kuyatimiza yale uliyotuagiza kwa wema wako kwa ajili bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao naishi na kutoa nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Danieli E bwana Mungu mkuu na waajabu wewe washika agano na huruma kwa wale wanaokupenda na kushika amri zako Sisi tumetenda dhambi tumefanya maovu tumekuwa wapotevu tumeasi na kuacha amri zako na maagizo yako wala hatukuwasikiliza watumishi wako manabii walio nena kwa jina lako mbele ya wafalme wetu wakuu wetu na baba zetu na mbele ya taifa zima la nchi wewe e bwana ni mwenye haki nasi tunaona aibu usoni mwetu hata siku ya leo watu wa yuda wenyeji wa yerusalemu na wa israeli nzima wale walio karibu na walio mbali katika nchi zote uliko watawanya kwa sababu ya makosa walio kukosea e bwana sisi tunaona aibu usoni nao wafalme wetu wakuu wetu na baba zetu kwa sababu tumefanya dhambi mbele yako huruma na maondoleo ni kwa bwana Mungu wetu kwani tumemwasi wala hatukuitii sauti ya bwana Mungu wetu kwa kwenda katika sheria zake alizoziweka mbele yetu kwa kinywa cha manabii watumishi wako neno la bwana e bwana usitutende kadiri ya dhambi zetu E Bwana, usitutende kadiri ya dhambi zetu. Usiyakumbuke makosa ya baba zetu. Huruma yako itufikie hima. Kwani tumetabika sana. E Bwana, usitutende kadiri ya dhambi zetu. Utusaidie e Mungu mwokozi wetu kwa ajili ya utukufu wa jina lako. Utuokoe, utusamehe dhambi zetu kwa ajili ya jina lako. E Bwana, usitutendee kadiri ya dhambi zetu. Lakini sisi watu wako na kondoo za malisho yako tutakutolea shukrani zetu sasa na milele tutatangaza sifa zako kizazi kwa kizazi e bwana usitutendee kadiri ya dhambi zetu simame kwa shangilio glory and praise to you lord jesus christ Maneno yako e Bwana ni roho tena ni uzima. Wewe unayo maneno ya uzima wa milele. Glory and praise to you. Bwana awe nani? 
Somo la Injili Takatifu lilivyoandikwa na Luka. Wakati ule Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake, iweni na huruma kama baba yenu alivyo na huruma. Msihukumu nanyi hamtahukumiwa. Msipatilize nanyi hamtapatilizwa. Sameheni nanyi mtasamehewa. Toeni nanyi mtapewa. Kipindi mpachana chema kinjiliwa kutikiswa na kujazwa hata kumwagika watawatilia pindoni mwenu. Kwa maana kipimo mnachopimia mtapimiwa. Injili ya Bwana. Somo la kwanza tumesikia kuhusu dhambi sisi tumetenda dhambi tumefanya maovu tumekuwa watevu tumeasi na kuacha amri zako na maagizo yako nikachukua mada yangu kuu kutoka pale sisi tumetenda dhambi let's own our sins mwanzoni mwa misa kila misa padri anasema tukiri dhambi zetu let us acknowledge our sins atafakari yangu kuu inazunguka pale je tunakubali tunakiri mwandishi mmoja nimetafuta nani lakini siku sikuweza kupata lakini alisema kwamba the only thing that we can claim as our own is sin kile kitu ambacho tunaweza kukiri au kusema kwamba tunamiliki ni dhambi zetu dhambi zangu my failures kwa sababu nimetenda mimi mwenyewe nikatafakari nikasema pale naelekea najua matukio yake lakini nikajipata pale pale unaposema kwamba i own it inakuwa ni hatua ya kwanza ya kunyenyekea that's when we can humble in ourselves enough to take action unapokubali kwamba hii ndio hali yangu na ukikubali bila shaka unataka kujua what step ni hatua gani ambayo naweza kuichukua ili niondoke katika sehemu hii hili sala hii sala ya danieli na mambo manne unyenyekevu humility worship ibada confession kutubu na petition kwamba ungetaka kuomba nini hivyo hivyo tunapokuwa katika ile hali ya dhambi if we own it lazima tuweze kupitia hizi hatua nne lakini kinyume chake ndicho tunapata kila siku the same speed we notice something is wrong the same speed we have to disown it to blame to push the blame to the next door kwamba ule uharaka tunaokuwa nao hakutamua kwamba tuna kuna kitu kimeenda kombo uharaka kama huo tunaotumia kusema kwamba it's not me we blame someone or something we push aside we fail to own even what we have committed hadithi moja ya mama moja alienda kwa daktari psychiatrist na alikuwa na shida kwa sababu alikuwa anasukumwa na wazazi hapo alipoingia pale kwa daktari psychiatrist 
akamwambia daktari daktari <coughs> mimi na elimu kweli I'm well educated self sufficient kama mimi nimetosheka na maisha ya staki kitu na mali lakini wazazi wangu wananisukuma kwamba lazima niweze kuoa au kuolewa Daktari akasema ni kweli you have achieved a lot and you will achieve even more Lakini kuna wakati tafika your plans might fail your achievements labda utakuta kwamba sio vile ulikuwa unatarajia je wakati kama ule will you blame yourself unajilaumu mwenyewe kwa sababu umeanguka au ujatimiza kile ambacho ulikuwa unahitaji mama akasema hapana daktari no i can't blame myself daktari akasema you see just when you hear is now you need a husband to push the blame leave us pata kila wakati you don't want to own but the source of my troubles my failures my sins is myself ndio inasema we have failed we have sinned we have rebelled tumeasi tume bila shaka akasema pale we are ashamed of it aya ya uso amesema katika tafsiri hii angalia namna tunavyoenda kutubu kuungama confession Hatuoni kwamba tumemwasi Mungu wengine lakini kuna sehemu ambayo mara nyingi tunawaruka sana We have even sinned against ourselves Have you ever said in confession kwamba nimekumuka jana I did something against myself Mara nyingi tunajikuta kwamba tunaangalia tuseme nini nikina pale kwa mungamo nitasema nini kuti la ese that's a failure to own bila shaka unajua najua nicho kitenda but i cannot acknowledge that it is me tafikiri kwamba kila siku au kila mtu kila mahali mtakatifu ndiyo mwandishi mwingine sikupata jina pia alisema the church is a gallery of saints but equally a hospital for sinners ni kweli kila siku tunasema mtakatifu huyu mtakatifu yule na wote ni wa kanisa letu lakini pia hilo kanisa tingalia kwa mtazamo ule bila shaka watapiga hatua yote it is equally a hospital for sinners mahali ambapo naweza kusema kwamba sisi ni wenye dhambi sisi tunahitaji kutubu kuungama kukiri kwaresma ndio muda huu mwafaka akutafuta uongofu mabadiliko jana tulisoma kuhusu kristo kageuka sura but for a purpose sisi pia katika maisha tunahitaji haya mabadiliko we need transformation we need change we need new lakini taanza pale ambapo nasema kwamba my sins are my own na kubadilika kwetu ni kuimarishwa we need a newness of our faces spiritual faces a newness of our souls a newness Kwaresma ni muda huu to be open to ourselves to be honest with ourselves 
na hapo ndipo tutapokuja mbele ya Mungu kusema kwamba Mungu nisamehe if you have the courage to say i own my sins utakuwa na nguvu pia kusema Mungu nisamehe nione huruma this owning and pushing away sins your spiritual captivity tunajifunga kiroho maisha ya kiroho kwa sababu hatukiri hatukubali we don't own na huu ndio muda asikofuat mkuu ameandika barua ya kichungaji pastor leta akasema this is a season of grace pale ambapo utasema kwamba mimi ndiye huyu utakuwa tayari kutoka katika ule utumwa wa spiritual captivity but you must own it don't push mzee mmoja alijikuta katika hali hii ikafika mahali ungapeana talaka na mke wake divorce and he was so bitter akatoka nje wakati analia na ale machungu akatazama akaona kreti moja pale sio kreti ya soda au maji kreti ya pombe kuzama akashika chupa ya kwanza smashed it on the wall you are the cause of my problems akaendelea kulia akachukua nyingine smashed it on the wall ni wewe umeitia matatizo haya yote my wife would not have gone but because of you akachukua chupa nyingine mwisho akaona chupa moja ambayo ilikuwa haijafunguliwa kunuliwa inaonekana ilikuwa na kinywaji akaitazama haijafunguliwa imejaa akasema you stay aside you are not involved we can never get out of our spiritual captivity kama hatakubali kwamba we need to get out of that we need to own lazima tumilie kitu tuseme kwamba nikiri kwamba ni mimi ndio niweze kupiga hiyo hatua nyingine tumsifu Yesu Kristo We bring bread Lord take and bless We bring bread Lord take and bless We bring bread Lord take and bless O Lord take and bless We bring wine Lord take and bless We bring wine Lord take and bless We bring wine Lord take and bless O Lord take and bless Our lives Lord take and bless Our lives Lord take and bless Our lives Lord take and bless O Lord take and bless Our country Lord take and bless Our country Lord take and bless Our country Lord take and bless O Lord take and bless Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yeye nikubariki kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi
e, bwana uwe laadhi kuyapokea maombi yetu na uwakomboe na vituo vya kidunia wale ulio wajalia kukutumikia katika mafumbo ya binguni kwa jina ya Kristu bwana wetu bwana awe nanyi inweni mioyo tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufaa na kuleta wokofu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba uliye mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele we ulitaka sisi tukutolee shukrani kwa kujinyima ili kwa njia hiyo hata sisi wakosefu tuodolewe ukaidi na kwa kuwapatia chakula wahitaji tufanywe wagayaji wa ukalimu wako kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umatu wa malaika tunakutukuza kwa sauti ya kukusifu tukisema sana juu binguni alikuwa naye kwenye kwajini e bwana kweli mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote na kuomba ufitakafuze vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ya e, alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate akakushukuru akaumega kawapo wafuasi wake akisema toaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe na kukushukuru tena. Aliwapo wafuasi wake akisema, "Toeni mnywe nyote. Hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu, damu ya agano jipya na la milele. Itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi. Fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu." fumbo la imani. E Bwana tunatangaza kifo chako. Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa kifo na ufuko wake mwanao, tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha wokofu. Nakushukuru kwa kuwa umetusahilisha kusimama mbele yako na kukutumikia. Pia tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo tukusanywe na Roho Mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja. E bwana ulikuwa kanisa lako linapopata duniani ulikamilishe katika mapendo pamoja na wakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Philip Panyoro, sasa wake David Kamau na wakeru wote uwakumbuke pia ndugu zetu wa dunia wakiwa tumaini la ufuko na marehemu wote wa dunia katika huruma yako uwapokee kwa nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba tume sisi sote ili pamoja marabiki na mwenyeheri mama wa Mungu mtakatifu Yosef mwake wa bikira mtume mwenyeheri mtakatifu wote kama tangu kale fikizi wa milele na kusema na kutukuza kwa njia ya mwanao Yesu Kristo kwa ajili yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu napata heshima na utukufu milele na milele kwa kulitii agizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye binguni mfalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama binguni 
tupe leo mkati wetu wa kirasi tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyo asamehe na sisi walio tukose tusifie katika shawishi e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu sudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tufadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wake mwokozi wetu e bwana Yesu Kristu niwaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa usisazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako naishi na kutawala milele na milele amani ya Kristu iwe daima nanyi mpeane amani mwana kondoo wa Mungu Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu. Hedi yao waliwaalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. Mwili na damu ya Kristo zitulinde tufike katika uzima wa milele. Watumishi wake baba wangapi waliopo wanakula na kusaza chakula chake baba nami nami natabika hapa nashi nashiriki na nguruwe chaku chakula kisichofa Yani pasa kurudi nita nitarudi na kusema baba baba yangu ni sa eh nime nimekosa kwake Mungu na mbele yako baba baba kamona yumbali kashikwa na huruma aka ki bi yakum lakin kam kumbata na busu nami nami natabika hapa nashi nashiriki na nguruwe chaku chakula kisichofa yani pasa kurudi nita nitarudi na kusema baba baba yangu ni samehe nime nimekosa kwake Mungu na mbele yako baba baba si stahili tena kuitwa mwana wako unifanye kama moja 
wa watumishi wako nami nami na tabika na si na si riki na guru chaku chaku la kisi chofa yani pasa guru di ni cha ni cha rudi na kusema ba 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 yangu ni same ni me ni me ko sa kwa ke mungu na mbele ya ko baba na mi na mi na tabika hapa na shi na shi riki na nguru e chaku chaku la kisi chofa ya ni pasa kurudi Roho ya Kristo initakase mwili wa Kristo uniokoe damu ya Kristo inichangamshe maji ya upavu wa Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche usikubali nitengane nawe na adui mwovu nikinge saa ya kufa kwangu niite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze Milele na milele amina Iweni na huruma kama baba yenu alivyo na huruma asema Bwana Tuombe Komunio hii e Bwana Itutakaze na hatia yoyote na itushirikishe furaha ya mbinguni kwa jea Kristu Bwana wetu. Tuinamishe ficho vyetu kwa baraka maalum. E Bwana, tunakuomba uidhibitishe mioyo ya waumini wako na uimarishe kwa nguvu ya neema yako ili wawe na ibada katika kukusihi na wakweli katika kupendana kwa jea ya Kristu Bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Nendeni kwa amani ibada yetu ya misa imekamilika Na muwe na siku jema Mary Musoli from your hands falling our heaven's blessings hear us according teach us to pray and work for God's glory Ave Maria Ave Help us to witness Christ is the living Service to others Cheerfully giving Teach us to pray And work for God's glory Ave Maria Ave
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki You are watching Kapuchin TV for any complaints comments or compliments on our programming you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri, kuna mafundisho, kuna misa takatifu kila siku. Kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane, utazame Capuchin TV. Jambo la pili, uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Manake ndiyo TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa, manake inafanya kazi mzuri. Kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi. Kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support. Wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili. Kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi fadha kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 510678 account name Caps TV. Baada ya ziara yetu ya unjilishaji kwenye Jimbo wa Katoliki la Kakamega wakati wa uzinduzi wa kampeni ya kwa resi mangazi ya kitaifa Uninga ya Captain tunarejea tena kwenye Jimbo hilo kwa mwaliko wa Baba Scope Joseph Obanyi Round hii tutashuhudia habari njema kutolewa kwa sakramenti ya daraja takatifu la Upadrisho pamoja na daraja takatifu la Ushemasi Jumamosi tare 11 mwezi Machi, Uninga Captain tutaingilisha pamoja na umini wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega. Itakuwa ni sherehe ya kutolewa kwa daraja takatifu la Upadri pamoja na la Ushemazi kwa wafuatao. Shemazi Stephen Wabuti kutoka parokia ya Mtakatifu Luka eneo la Bumini, Shemazi Benjamin na Monywa kutoka parokia ya Mtakatifu Paulo eneo la Ejija. Shemazi Felix Kalo kutoka parokia ya Mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi, Shemazi Justus Misago kutoka parokia ya Mtakatifu Luka eneo la Bumini na Shemazi Jackson Mandela kutoka parokia mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi na wanaopokea daraja takatifu la Ushemazi ni seminari Carlos Pende kutoka parokia mtakatifu Francisco eneo la Shikoti seminari Crispi wa Malwa kutoka parokia mtakatifu Marco eneo la Nzoia Seminari Kenid Masinde kutoka parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi eneo la Kongoni. Seminari Emmanuel Musinya kutoka parokia mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi. Seminari Kelvin Odor kutoka parokia mtakatifu Pita. Seminari Desterias kutoka parokia Holy Family eneo la Lubao na seminari Kelvin Onyango baada ya misa takatifu 
itaanza saa ya asubuhi. Ikiongozwa na askofu Joseph Obani Sagwe kutoka uwanja wa chuo cha mafunzo ya walimu cha mtakatifu Augustino au kipenda St Augustine Teachers College in Olairegi. Nafsi yangu inamchukuza Bwana na roho yangu inashangilia Mungu mokozi wangu Luka sura ya kwanza mstari wa 46. Kumbuka hayo yote yatakufikia popote utakapokuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. Runinga Captain anampongeza mwashamu Joseph Obanyi wacha ule wa daraja hiyo pamoja na familia omini wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega kwa mavuno hayo. Ndelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki Ni mara nyingine tena ambapo mama kanisa anawaalika waumini wote kuadhimisha kipindi cha mfungo wa Kwaresma wa kila mwaka. Mwaka huu siku 40 za kipindi cha Kwaresma ni kuanzia tarehe 22 Februari Jumatano ya majivu hadi tarehe 8 Aprili Jumamosi kuu. Idara ya haki na amani kwenye baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki hapa nchini KCCB Inawaalika waumini wote kushiriki kikamilifu katika kampeni ya Kwaresma. Kaulimbiu ya kampeni hiyo mwaka huu ni upatanisho kwa taifa shirikishi. Kuna tafakari tano kwa kila juma katika kipindi cha Kwaresma. Wiki ya kwanza upatanisho, wiki ya pili afya ya akili, wiki ya tatu tumaini la jamii yetu, wiki ya nne haki ya kiuchumi. Na wiki ya tano, elimu ya uhusiano wa viumbe na mazingira. Kipindi cha Kwaresma kinahusisha yafuatayo. Moja, kupakwa majivu mwanzo wa Kwaresma. Pili, kufunga. Tatu, kusali zaidi. Nne, matendo ya huruma. Tano, kwenda kitubio. Na la sita, kusali njia ya msalaba kila Ijumaa. Kapuchin TV Inawatakia heri na baraka kwenye kipindi cha Kwaresma. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, kituo tambulika cha imani na maadili katoliki. Dear viewer, this is Captain TV, Catholic Identity. We are soon going to have a program, Missions of Hope, a program that will be highlighting different apostolates that are carried out by religious men and women in their quest to bring hope, transformation in the society, and in the spirit of Jesus Christ. Missions of Hope, coming soon on Capuchin TV. We shall be having it as from 9 a.m. every Tuesday. Be with us and welcome. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. and compassion look with pity upon me Father let me call thee Father tis thy child return 
Starts on level ground. I will bless the Lord in the assembly. This mass is requested by Ruth Wangari for special intention. Let us also offer our personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Saint Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving command. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Prophet Daniel. O oh Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps covenant and merciful love with those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned and done wrong, and acted wickedly and rebelled, turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers and to all the people of the land. To you, O Lord, belongs righteousness, but to us confusion of face. As at this day, to the men of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel, those who are near and those who are far away, in all the lands to which you have driven them, because of the treachery which they have committed against you. To us, O Lord, belongs confusion of face. To our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord, our God, belongs mercy and forgiveness, because we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, our God, by following his laws, which is set before us by his servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Response to the psalm. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. Do not remember against us the guilt of former times, 
let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we have been brought very low. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of your name. Free us and forgive our sins because of your name. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. Your strong arm reprieve those condemned to die. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. Then we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. From age to age, we will recount your praise. O Lord, do not treat us according to our sins. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Glory and praise to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you'll be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. The readings of today are giving us a very important lesson. The mercy of God and the sinfulness of the human person. God has remained faithful while a human person has always transgressed his laws and his ordinances. When we talk of mercy, it has two elements. The first one is compassion and the second one is faithfulness. And therefore, the mercy of God entails those two elements, the compassion and even the faithfulness. The Lord has remained faithful to his people, both in the, New, in the Old Testament and again in the New Testament. And one lesson or one important teaching we see is actually in the Exodus where God remained faithful to his people even when they transgressed against his laws and ordinances even when they entered the promised land they never remained faithful but because of his faithfulness he always showed mercy even when he allowed them first of all to go other enslavement or even when they were taken to Babylon, he only gave them a lesson to enter into themselves. But after that, he always forgave them. His mercy has no aid. 
but the human person has always transgressed the law of the Lord and we have heard even from the first reading that O oh Lord we have gone against your covenant we have even sinned and done wrong and acted wickedly and even rebelled we have turned aside against your commandments and even against your ordinances they are saying or the Israelites through Daniel they are saying we have always gone against you we have not even listened to the prophet and it is everyone but now we hear again the mercy of God has no aid the Lord is merciful and he is ready to forgive it is the same thing and that's what we have echoed even in the Psalms of today and especially in the responsorium we have said O oh Lord do not treat us according to our sins that is a very deep prayer is a recognition that we are not worthy before God it is a recognition that all of us we are in need of mercy of God if our sins are to be counted who would stand before God and that is what now we see during this Lenten season that we are called to see of our unworthiness before God we are called to realize that truly we have sinned against God but when we have realized that then we are not called to remain in that state but we have to embark on a journey of going back to the Lord through repentance of our sins and the willingness to change our life this is again what we hear now in the gospel of today the invitation of jesus christ where he is telling us be merciful as our heavenly father is merciful and therefore if what i have said in the very beginning is to be fulfilled in our lives being merciful then is being compassionate and again being faithful if we are to be merciful as god is merciful then we have to be compassionate with our brothers and sisters and we have to be faithful of the promises we have made to the lord and this is what we see becoming as our father is being merciful as our father is merciful if we are merciful we are not going to be quick to judge other people there is only one who can judge and that is God himself and the reason why he, he is the only one who can judge he sees everything as it is for us maybe we see things from outside there is no one who would understand the other person hundred percent it is only God most of the times we see from outside but God can read the heart of the person. God will understand a hundred percent the situation in which the person was when he did one thing or two, and therefore he is the right one to judge. For us, we are there to be merciful and even to pray and to forgive our brothers and sisters. Our responsibility is not to condemn them, it is to forgive them and also to pray for them and he gives us a standard then the measure you give will be the measure you get back if you are ready to forgive your brother or your sister then he tells us the same will happen to us and this forgiveness will be a good measure it will be pressed down even shaken together so that it can get full in the right way press down and it will be put on our lap it will be ours and that is what christ is telling us during this lenten season let us recognize of our sinfulness let us embark on that journey of repentance let us remember that is only through the mercy of god that we can be able to start and in this then 
will be able to be merciful and he as he is merciful then somebody would say then is that possible it is possible because by the coming of our lord jesus christ he has given us his grace in its fullness and therefore we can be able to be merciful because of the grace of god not because of just our humanity because in our humanity we cannot but the grace of god abounds even more and that grace of god is with us let us therefore open ourselves let us dispose ourselves let us unite with the grace of god and the grace of god will work in us transform us so that we can become merciful as our father is merciful to
widow of his dead and his wife. God of Christ, we may be cast out. Remember, Lord, your task there throughout the world. And together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip, and all the clans. Remember, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and faith.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated. Be merciful as your Father is merciful, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplications to you and sincere in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace of Christ, love and serve one another. Our Mass is said it. Holy Virgin, by God's decree, you were called eternally, that he could give his
You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. We also appreciate the services that we are given by the Capuchin TV. Capuchin TV, uh, I think I've heard many people telling us, Father, we are able to follow your Mass. I think that's a great thing. Let us appreciate the Capuchins. We have agreed with the Capuchin TV they will be covering all our masses, including the weekday masses. Weekday masses will be covering. The intention being to preach and to reach out to other people, even those who are not able to attend the mass. This is the only Catholic TV that we have. We have never had any Catholic TV. So let us pray for them, let us support them, let us encourage them so that it will be fully established. They are still limited. They are still limited in the sense that they don't have enough equipment. If they had enough equipment, they would have, you know, they would be able to cover several masses now in our Kidauses and in our country, Kenya. You know, like, I wish Catholics would support this TV so that it can be as strong as other secular we have been so much manip man manipulated by secular TVs. Why don't we also have our own? And we can channel now our information. Sometimes I wonder about Christians. You know, when we, we take our advert to the secular TV, it is okay, but you are supporting it. Sindio, because you are paying. We have also ways of supporting our captured TV. We have, we have. We can support in many ways. Now they are so limited, as I said, because of the resources that they have. So let us support them as an individual. Think of how you can support this TV. Tuendele kufanya kazi. Baby number 5106678. Account name Caps TV. Baada ya ziara yetu ya unjilishaji kwenye Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega wakati wa uzinduzi wa kampeni ya kwa resi mangazi ya kitaifa. Uninga ya Captain turarejea tena kwenye Jimbo hilo kwa mwaliko wa Baba Scope Joseph Obanyi. Round hii tutashuhudia habari njema kutolewa kwa sakramenti ya daraja takatifu la Upadrisho pamoja na daraja takatifu la Ushemasi. Jumamosi tare 11 mwezi Machi, Runinga Captain tutaingilisha pamoja na umini wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega. Itakuwa ni sherehe ya kutolewa kwa daraja takatifu la Upadri pamoja na la Ushemazi kwa wafuatao. Shemazi Stephen Wabuti kutoka parokia mtakatifu Luka eneo la Bumini, Shemazi Benjamin na Monywa kutoka parokia mtakatifu Paulo eneo la Ejija, Shemazi Felix Kalo kutoka parokia mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi, Shemazi Justus Misago kutoka parokia mtakatifu Luka eneo la Bumini na Shemazi Jackson Mandela kutoka parokia mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi na wanaopokea daraja takatifu la Ushemazi ni Seminari Carlos Tende kutoka parokia mtakatifu Francisco eneo la Shikoti Seminari Crispi wa Malwa kutoka parokia mtakatifu Marco eneo la Nzoia Seminari Kenneth Masinde kutoka parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi eneo la Kongoni 
Mseminari Emmanuel Musinya kutoka parokia mtakatifu Agostino eneo la Iregi. Mseminari Kelvin Odor kutoka parokia mtakatifu Pita. Mseminari Desterias kutoka parokia Holy Family eneo la Lubao na mseminari Kelvin Onyango. Baada ya misa takatifu itaanza saa ya asubuhi. Ikiongozwa na askofu Joseph Obani Sagwe kutoka uwanja wa chuo cha mafunzo ya walimu cha mtakatifu Augustino au kipenda St Augustine Teachers College eneo la Iregi. Nafsi yangu inamchukuza bwana na roho yangu nashangilia Mungu mokozi wangu Luka sura ya kwanza mstari wa 46. Kumbuka hayo yote yatakufikia popote utakapokuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. Runinga Captain anampongeza mheshimiwa Joseph Obani wote ule wa daraja hiyo pamoja na familia ya wa Jimbo Katoliki la Kakamega kwa mavuno hayo. Ndelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim cover which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town off Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723 644555 or email us on kiminini hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kimininicottagehospital.com kiminini cottage mission hospital we treat god heals Dear viewer, this is Captain TV, Catholic Identity. We are soon going to have a program, Missions of Hope, a program that will be highlighting different apostolates that are carried out by religious men and women in their quest to bring hope, transformation in the society, and in the spirit of Jesus Christ. Missions of Hope, coming soon on Capuchin TV. We shall be having it as from 9 a.m. every Tuesday. Be with us and welcome. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity.
Ni mara nyingine tena ambapo mama kanisa anawaalika waumini wote kuadhimisha kipindi cha mfungo wa Kwaresma wa kila mwaka. Mwaka huu siku 40 za kipindi cha Kwaresma ni kuanzia tarehe 22 Februari Jumatano ya majivu hadi tarehe 8 Aprili Jumamosi kuu. Idara ya haki na amani kwenye baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki hapa nchini KCCB inawaalika waumini wote kushiriki kikamilifu katika kampeni ya Kwaresma. Kaulimbiu ya kampeni hiyo mwaka huu ni upatanisho kwa taifa shirikishi. Kuna tafakari tano kwa kila juma katika kipindi cha Kwaresma. Wiki ya kwanza upatanisho, wiki ya pili afya ya akili, wiki ya tatu tumaini la jamii yetu, wiki ya nne haki ya kiuchumi na wiki ya tano elimu ya uhusiano wa viumbe na mazingira. Kipindi cha Kwaresma kinahusisha yafuatayo. Moja, kupakwa majivu mwanzo wa Kwaresma. Pili, kufunga. Tatu, kusali zaidi. Ne, matendo ya huruma. Tano, kwenda kitubio. Na la sita, kusali njia ya msalaba kila Ijumaa. Kapuchin TV inawatakia heri na baraka kwenye kipindi cha Kwaresma. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV, kituo tambulika cha imani na maadili katoliki. St. Christopher Girls High School Machakos invites students who sat for KCSE in 2020 and are willing to repeat from 4 year 2023. Requirements: 1. Grade D+ plus and above. 2. Must be a Catholic and baptized. 3. From a needy background. 4. Letter of recommendation from the parish priest. Scholarships available for needy girls. To register for exams, call us on 0715 209 403.